The past is not what it seems. Secrets buried, truths forgotten. Welcome to Strange History, where the unknown becomes known. Siberia, a huge and wild land. It stretches across northern Asia, a mix of snowy mountains, frozen ground and thick forests. The Tiga, the world's biggest forest, covers most of Siberia. This giant area of evergreen trees seems to go on forever, a sea of green under a sky that can change from bright blue to stormy grey really fast. The air is fresh, smelling like pine needles and damp earth. It's a beautiful but harsh place where nature is in charge. But Siberia has secrets, stories of things that have changed its land and left their mark on history. Deep in this remote wilderness, far from cities and towns, is the site of one of the strangest events in human history. An event that shook the earth and confused scientists for decades. This is the story of the Tunguska event. June 30th, 1908. A new day began over the Siberian taiga with a pink and orange sky. The early morning was still and quiet with only the sounds of birds chirping and leaves rustling. But this peace wouldn't last at 7.17 a.m. local time. A super bright light flashed across the sky. It was brighter than the sun, lighting up the forest with a strange glow. Then a huge boom. A deafening explosion, louder than anything heard before, ripped through the air. The ground shook hard like a giant was stomping on it. A massive shockwave, moving faster than sound, raced outwards, knocking down trees like dominoes over an area of 800 square miles. The Tunguska event, as it would be called, had arrived in a scary show of power. Years went by and the Tunguska event became a legend, a story told around campfires, but the mystery remained. In 1927, Leonid Kulik, a Russian scientist who studied rocks and minerals, went on a trip to figure out the Tunguska event. He had heard stories from the Evenki people, who lived there about a fiery god coming down from the sky. Kulik thought something else, something from outer space, had visited Siberia. Kulik's journey was tough. The Siberian wilderness was harsh, a maze of thick forest and dangerous swamps. But he was really curious. When he finally got to the center of the blast, what he saw was amazing and confusing. Millions of trees were lying down, all pointing away from a central spot. It looked like a giant hand had swept across the forest. The Tunguska event wasn't just a local thing. Thousands of miles away, earthquake detectors in Europe and Asia recorded shaking, thinking it was an earthquake. The shockwave from the explosion went around the world twice. Special instruments that measure air pressure recorded its faint changes. Even stranger, the night skies over Europe and Asia glowed with a weird light for days after. People saw bright sunsets, and some even said they could read newspapers outside at midnight. Scientists were puzzled. What could have caused such widespread changes in the atmosphere? The Tunguska event was clearly more than just a big explosion. It was a global event with big effects. The destruction was huge. Something powerful had hit the earth, leaving a scar on Siberia. But a key piece of the puzzle was missing. There was no crater. Kulik searched hard, looking everywhere for a sign of a meteorite or comet piece. He even drained a swamp in the middle of the blast zone, thinking it might be hiding something. But he found nothing. The missing crater made the Tunguska event even more mysterious. Whatever had caused the explosion had disappeared, leaving only destruction and unanswered questions. The lack of evidence just led to more guesses. 
What could cause such damage without leaving a trace? There were many theories, each one stranger than the last. Some whispered about a black hole collision, a cosmic event with huge energy. Others talked about antimatter, something that could destroy matter with incredible force. Some even thought it was an alien spaceship malfunctioning, an idea fueled by the missing crater and the strange lights in the sky. These theories were interesting, but there was no scientific proof. Scientists needed a better explanation one that matched what they saw and the laws of physics. The Tunguska event remained a puzzle, a cosmic riddle. The answer, it turned out, wasn't in science fiction but in studying things on Earth. Scientists studying nuclear explosions saw similarities between the blast patterns and the damage at Tunguska. This led to the airburst idea. This theory says that a meteor or comet piece exploded in the Earth's atmosphere instead of hitting the ground. When something enters the atmosphere really fast, it squeezes and heats the air in front of it. This can make the object get super hot and explode in the air, releasing a lot of energy as heat, light and a powerful shockwave. This explained the missing crater at Tunguska. The object had exploded in the air, its energy spreading out over a wide area. The Tunguska event, though a long time ago, reminds us how fragile our planet is in the grand expanse of space. While Earth gets hit by lots of space rocks every day, most of it burns up harmlessly in the atmosphere. But Tunguska showed us that even small objects can be dangerous if they get too low. Now, people are more aware of the importance of protecting Earth. Space agencies are making systems to detect dangerous asteroids and comets. Scientists are also looking at ways to push away or break up incoming objects to keep Earth safe. The Tunguska event, though still mysterious, has changed science. It has inspired many scientists to study our planet and its place in space. The event reminds us of the power of nature and the importance of research and exploration. While the airburst theory is the best explanation we have, the Tunguska event is still fascinating and causes debate. What if there's more to the story? What secrets are still hidden in Siberia? Before you go, we'd love to hear your thoughts. What do you think really caused the Tunguska event? Share your theories in the comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe for more deep dives into the world's strangest historical events. See you next time.